guys, it's so go. hot. This is so cool. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. Traveling for 22 hours. Okay, so this was the fit for breakfast this morning. I wore these heels and we're gonna walk around a lot So I'm actually gonna change out of my heels because they're already hurting me, but they're so cute I thrifted the shirt probably a week before we left. There is a button missing which is a little unfortunate I think it's still cutie. It's pretty hot and humid here So I have this little mini skirt that my friend Nakai either gave me or let me borrow I don't remember this necklace that I also I think thrifted I'm trying to be better with wearing jewelry. So here are my rings I have this music note, a clover, this blue one, this star one, and then another like blue. And then I have this charm bracelet that I basically made out of this broken necklace that I had at my house. My plan for this entire trip is to go get some charms to add to this. But yeah, and then I'm gonna wear my converse. And I have to wear my glasses still, I think until Saturday, because I gotta make sure that my eye's better. Guys, it's so up. hot. It is so hot. It's like humid hot and we're used to it in North Carolina, but something, I, it hits different here. Look, that's the Marina Bay Sands. We have like two nights there actually, starting Sunday till Tuesday. Crazy. This is what is in Crazy Rich Asians. I haven't been vlogging much because we were a little cranky yesterday. We meaning me. Um, we got a good sleep though. It was like a 22 hour flight experience. Like, just on the flight, but it was like a full like over 24 hours where we were just traveling to get to here. So it was a lot, but it's okay. We're feeling refreshed today. Is oh, it? Wait, we Bobby's gonna come out and be like, I told you guys. <laughs> My dad got this. We were thinking it was a pitcher. Actually, we all thought it was a pitcher. And then he was like, well, it's the same size as his cup. And we gaslit him to believe that it was, and this is what comes out. <laughs> yeah, it's like a tea. <laughs> Is it good? I just did 25%. I don't know if I should have done this, but it wasn't very quite. Wow. Mine is a hundred percent. delicious. to do that. I've always wanted to film me reading a book in a hotel bed with a cup of coffee in my hand. Going to dinner and I changed. You will be seeing this outfit again. Thrifted the skirt. Shoes are from Cousin Couture. I don't remember where this top is from actually. Bag, thrifted, same jewelry, put a necklace on. But yeah, this is a dinner fit. So you mean? <laughs> I 
just found out there's a gym so I think I'm gonna go to the gym just for fun I'm trying to get like the most out of this experience I don't ever really go to the gym so realistically it's not because I'm like trying to stay fit like I don't go to the gym I'm trying to use the amenities as much as I can so I'm gonna go either walk or run probably both like half and half maybe for like 20 minutes with my headphones in jamming out to so some Charlie XCX I still need to update you guys on the travel day yesterday but yeah so far it's really pretty this this is such a pretty city and that night it's gorgeous so I'm excited for either tomorrow or Saturday I think Saturday is when we have a tour there's fireworks tomorrow because because it's Singapore's 59th year anniversary of being independent from Malaysia. So that's gonna be really cool. And I think we're gonna watch it here at the hotel. But yeah, I'm gonna go get ready and go to the gym. I have the gym all to myself. Imagine I wasn't all by myself and there's somebody in here. My gosh, playing Charlie XCX guests with Billie Eilish as the feature. I ran a mile, didn't even feel it. I literally said that in one of my music Spotify like playlist videos that I swore you could literally do anything and play that album and you would just get it done. And I did. <gasps> that was so good. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I love going on vacation. Even though my family isn't really a vacation family, we're more of like a travel family. But I love whenever the hotels that we stay in, sometimes they have amenities. Well, most of the time hotels have amenities, but this one has a gym and a pool, which is so nice. And I love when that happens because then I can take advantage of it. Gotta take a half shower and then wind down for bed. Do you see my girly? Isn't that cute? Oh my god. I woke up like this. And that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to the botanical gardens today, right, Papa? Yeah. This is the fit for today. Same outfit that I wore yesterday to dinner, but I'm wearing accessories with it now. Nani's outfit. Oh. Look how cute, see? So cute. And then the new Converse that we bought yesterday. I got matching ones, so we're gonna match later. Right now I'm wearing <laughs> these heels, but they are not walkable. I'm putting on the Converse after, but this is just breakfast fit. Tuesday, we left Raleigh, headed to the airport around 6, I believe. Our flight was at 9, and we got there around 7 o'clock. We usually go to the airport three hours before our flight, and it's international, and two hours when it's domestic. Technically, it was domestic because we went to Dallas first, so we got there a little earlier because it was so early in the morning we had breakfast at the airport. Our flight from Raleigh to Dallas was only two hours. When we got to Dallas, we only had an hour layover, which was not great. And because we just did that two-hour flight, we didn't want to go straight into a 13-hour flight, but unfortunately, that's how it worked out. So then from Dallas, we went to Tokyo. That was the 13-hour flight. So scared for the 13-hour flight, but it was fine, actually. I didn't sleep much, but I did like take a couple hour naps here and there. I tried editing some. I probably edited for like an hour and a half on the flight, but it wasn't much. It was really just importing videos. And then I was on my phone trying to like clear out space on my phone with my photos and videos. Editing on CapCut a little bit. I almost finished the book that I was reading. I finished it already here. Like I literally finished it last night, but I didn't watch any movies or anything. I really don't know what else I did with my time. I guess I was deleting photos and videos for like hours because I don't know what else I did. <laughs> Only the last two hours were a little 
just because I got I started getting really tired. And then after that flight, I'm pretty sure we had a three hour layover in Tokyo, which was amazing because the airport in Tokyo was a lot harder to navigate than we expected. We got through that probably within like an hour and a half. It didn't take too long. And then we ate some dinner at the airport. At this point, we were cranky and tired. I was basically silent this whole time because I knew that if I opened up my mouth, I would just get so irritated. Traveling for 22 hours, not even just traveling for 22 hours, but we were flying for 22 hours, that's a lot. So it was really taking a toll on me and I, <laughs> I had to keep my mouth shut. The last flight we had obviously was here to Singapore. It was seven hours. I was very, very concerned for that flight. Towards the end of the 13 hours, I was really just done down for the count. I was falling asleep at the airport. I couldn't fathom the fact that we had to be on another flight for seven hours, but it was fine because I slept through more than half of that flight, which was great. It wasn't full, so we got to have our own row. I just took the nearest row that was completely empty and I laid out and slept for probably five and a half hours and then I watched Turtles all the way down. I couldn't fully watch it because we landed, but it was so good. And I want to finish watching that movie. That movie was so cute. That flight wasn't bad at all, which I'm so grateful for. And I think me sleeping on that flight for the majority of it helped with my jet lag. None of us have jet lag, which I think somehow sleeping throughout that travel experience here and there was really helpful. And then we got here in Singapore to our hotel around 1 a.m. Um, once we got out of the airport and everything, Thing. I didn't sleep that morning until 3 a.m. Oh my gosh, one thing that I noticed, it's very quiet at the airport. And like my Latina family being at the airport and like my loud being at the airport, that was an experience. You just heard like footsteps and like bags moving, machines and air. Like I'm not kidding. My nervous system was having the time of its life. So quiet and peaceful. Also, it was really, really hot. I think they say like July, August, September-ish. Super hot and humid. It's like the most humid time of year to go to Tokyo. And even Singapore is really hot. Oh my gosh, they weren't kidding. I'm confused. Girl, where is this coffee coming from? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. a little coffee in my bed that's one thing that i noticed on vacation i need my alone time i need it so this is very nice i love that i get to be by myself my family's away doing their own little thing i'm doing my own little thing i'm gonna wait to do the majority of trying all these snacks that i bought yesterday with my sister and obviously with you guys but i bought two of these bestore matcha sandwich cookies this is a dream and it sounds really silly, but growing up I would watch YouTubers and they would travel and do travel vlogs and they would always have a cute moment on their bed by themselves if they went with their family or whatever and they would just be on their bed and try candy or snacks from the country that they're visiting. So this is a dream for me right now and I'm so excited to be doing this. These are what the cookies look like. Cheers! <laughs> Stop. I am going to decompress and watch some YouTube on my laptop. Oh, I love this vibe! I love this vibe. Oh my god, I'm like in heaven right now. It's the finer things in life, let me tell you. I know. Is that good? Mm -hmm. We can share it. That is so good. Wait, actually, should we get another one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this tastes like or reminds me of. It, it is like chocolate milk. That looks so cool. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. 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 I
Your verdict? I don't know, that's pretty good. Really? It's really good. It's like, um, I love, there's so many different textures. Guava. Like the flower texture is really interesting. Mm. It almost tastes like guava. Whoa. It's like ice cream. Yeah, you're right. It's named after the place here that has the poison dart claws that we're gonna go see. We're on a skywalk. <gasps> oh my gosh. Whoa, that looks <laughs> scary. Oh it is, this God, is kind this of freaky, cool. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> <laughs> this is so cool! We are heading to Cloud Forest now. Fuchsia? Those are so cute. That's what they're called? That is gorgeous. I mean, I just almost have used them. Oh my gosh. Are you joking? I thought there was an ant on it. No, he is the ant. Now we're in floral fantasy. Look how cute. And these are real, like everywhere. Look how cute. Look at these. Oh my gosh! Whoa! I'm excited to try this. I got the Singapore sling. I'll put on the screen what is all in it, but I think the main alcohol is gin, but there's like three. That's why I wanted to share with my mom because there's no way I'm finishing this. Okay. Oh, that tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Oh my gosh. That looks so delicious.
She waited for this moment solely. Not you not being able to see the fireworks because of all the smoke from the fireworks. <laughs> I don't know what a luge is. <laughs> Mom, please don't drop your phone. Oh my gosh, all of you. <laughs> In theory. Um. <clears throat> Stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach through mysterious ceilings My holy hope I look for the things I don't know There you go. Okay. Okay. We're a little tired. A little. I've been up since 4:46 a.m. This looks so cool at night. Whoa. But according to legend recorded in the Malay annals, Prince Sang Nila Utama. Won't you be my valentine? Thank you, come here. Not just for February, 